hi guys i'm janak and i will take this training i had from here so this week we are going to talk about dow theory you all must have heard the name charles dow have you heard it somewhere dow jones yes have you heard that so charles dow was considered to be the grandfather of modern day technical analysis now that's a big statement but this guy who existed in the 1800s he passed away in 1902 he made certain set of observations of the market which forms the basis of technical analysis as we know and as we practice it today so what did this guy do for that we need to first go a little bit into the history of uh, the markets uh, history of charles dow in particular how uh, he uh, his life progressed and then we will move on to the observations that he had done okay so charles dow he was born on a farm in connecticut in connecticut in 1851 now he had no formal training in the uh, markets and he had barely little education but at the age of 21 he decided to leave his farm and go and become a journalist now now in particular he was interested in uh, interviewing business owners promoters and he was more inclined towards business journalism as we know it after a while he went to new york and he joined a financial bureau called kiernan wall street out there after a certain uh, after a short span of time his friend edward jones okay he was his friends from his prior experience prior days edward jones also joined him in a short, short while and the two of them became a notorious duo of journalists on wall street now why were they notorious because other reporters could be bribed into um writing favorable reviews of a company or favorable info about a company but these two were so straight and they were so dedicated and committed to the task that nobody could bribe them into manipulating the stock market or writing false reviews about a company after working there for a while both of these that is charles dow and edward jones they both decided that wall street needed another financial bureau and in november 18 and 82 they started dow jones and company right now this dow jones and company initially used to publish a two page afternoon newspaper with their observation comments and information about the markets and this newspaper became very successful in a short span of time and it became an important um, important read for any person who was trading in the markets at that point in time now in 1889 on 8 july 1889 they both decided that why not convert this afternoon two pager into a full fledged newspaper and that was how the wall street journal was created wall street journal happens to be one of the most widely circulated financial dailies even now till date once this happened then came the averages okay uh, dow used to plot 12 stock an average of 12 stocks prices and he used to see how that average would behave and he always believed that this average gave him a, a feel of how the us economy was performing at that point in time okay eventually he increased the number of stocks and he built two averages one was the dow jones industrial average and one was the dow jones railroad average which is now called as the dow jones transportation average right now the logic for making these two averages was simple the stock market was considered to be a barometer of the us economy okay of the future expectations of the company performance 
Okay. So if the industries were looking to perform well, the Dow Jones industrial average would rise. If the business rose, so would the demand for transporting goods and therefore the railroad companies would earn higher freight. Simple as that. So that would cause the Dow Jones railroad average to rise. Okay. So if the Dow Jones industrial average makes a new high, it was logical that the railroad average would also make a new high. And if that was not happening, that would imply that there is a problem taking place in some region or some part of the economy. And it would be a red flag, of course. Now, why am I telling you all of this? How does this make sense now? We will see all of this shortly when we discuss the six tenets or the six major observations that have come out from Dow's studies over the years. So going back to history from 1896 till 1902, that was when Dow passed away. Okay. Dow had written several articles in which his observations were made on the behavior of these average on markets and on prices. These observations, he passed away in 1902. So there was no formal book or anything as such, which he had written because he had just written a set of well-researched articles, which he had been doing over all his life in the markets. Okay. And once he passed away, Dow Jones and company was sold off to Hamilton. Okay. And these uh, articles and his observations were later on studied by Hamilton by Robert Ria and by Schaefer and all these three, they all combined all of this knowledge and made six tenets of Dow or six rules of the market based on Dow's observations. Now these six rules form the basis of modern day technical analysis. And we are going to discuss those today in the forthcoming videos. So um, I will see you in the next video guys. And um, Quickly, I just want to remind you to like, subscribe and share this channel because the more likes we get, the more motivated we are to give, do a better job and give you premium good uh, information on uh, YouTube. So thank you guys. See you in the next video. Bye.